here click on this color of here copy this click on ok 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 go to the big box select the gradient over there and so this color select and paste this now get the gradual feeling okay 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 that's done just control t this select the shape tool control t it need to be a bit bigger okay click on okay that's done now we need to put the buttons and the text so select the type tool to the top of the small box select the whole area have a size of 20 and start typing boom this is a bit too small now we're on 25 to 26 that's not too big 30 30 yeah 30 would do change the font no I've been using the same font in all my tutorials so that this is um see then you know, this looks good lobster boom two home clients two forms two email Okay. Okay. And then that's enough. Uh, home, clients, email. Also, yeah. Contact us. Contact us. So, Control A. You see, we need everything inside this box. Okay. But this is kind of like too much outer out of the box so what we could do is select the text select the character and paragraph part and you could see the okay, yeah. just not this only it's this increase it until get your design alignment so see there's we need some space on top and bottom so what we could do is decrease this a bit to 28 I guess 27 is good okay and move down okay until it's properly aligned Press shift on your keyboard and put your right. If you guys don't like this color, so you could kind of go and change it. Just double click this. Select color overlay. Mm, we could go for white. Go for white and give it a darker blue stroke. And we have auto glow. something something because depending on your what depending on what your website is gonna be about okay but I will stick with the same old color except we'll have a lighter blue um, see the more it gets lighter the more it's gonna be transparent so I think we'll leave it like this I'll like come up with something to do for the text okay that's done next thing would be the main text for that get your text tool and I'm gonna have a heading as always
find Q then web control A and increase the size to 72 oh I have changed this to default ok reset character that's done I'm having a bad flu so just don't mind it guys Okay, just have it on top of it itself, and it's kind of cool. So, 72, 73. So, okay, it's the alignment that's you know that's that's the main thing. The alignment, all in all these still arts or oh, websites. How you're gonna place your characters or your page, your text. That's what really counts, you know. Okay, click on OK. I think white is great. Um, I think we should reduce the size a bit. So everything comes inside the margin. So I want you one. Okay, success. It won't. So we need some space for the text and the header so that's done so we not we are going to need next will be the reflection so select the text make a copy just drag it and drop it onto your create new layer tab rename this as my tutorial reflect okay control click on the T of the reflection layer and select the layer mask hit ctrl T on your keyboard selecting the re file to the reflect layer right click flip vertical and just place it in the very bottom two pixels down ok that done select the gradient tool Make sure it's in black and white. Make sure the mask is also selected, not the text. You get a no sign here. When you select the mask, it's cool. Okay, just drag it from bottom to top. From this area to this. Cool. 